Now come to question number four. Find the least number which must be subtracted from each of the following numbers so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the perfect square so obtained. The so say first part. It is four hundred two. Find out the square root of four hundred two by long division method. Here make pair from right hand side. How many times it will go? Two times. Two to the four. Subtract it. You will get zero. Bring second pair. It is zero two. Now two plus two. It is four. How many times it will go? Zero times. It will be zero. Subtract it. You will get two. Here two remainder is left. Here what we observe that twenty square is less than four hundred two. Therefore, this number to be subtracted equal to two. That is remainder. Therefore, required number. Equal to four hundred two minus two. That is four hundred. Let us find out square root of this four hundred. Make pairs from right hand side. How many times it will go? Two times. Two times of four. Subtract it. You will get zero. Bring second pair. Two plus two. It is four. How many times it will go? Zero times. You will get zero zero zero. Subtract it. You will get zero. Therefore, the square root of four hundred. It is twenty. So your answer is two and twenty. Now second part. Nineteen hundred eighty-nine. Find out square root by long division method. Here make pairs from right hand side. Here second pair is nineteen. How many times it will go? Four times. Four four zero sixteen. Subtract it. Nine minus six three. Bring second pair. It is eighty nine. Now four plus four it is eight. How many? Times it will go four times four four zero sixteen one carry four red zero thirty two plus one thirty three subtract it nine minus six three eight minus three five here your remainder is fifty three. Here, what we observe that forty-four square is less than nineteen hundred eighty-nine. Therefore, least number to be subtracted.
equal to 53 that is remainder therefore required number equal to 1989 minus 53 the 9 minus 3 it is 6 8 minus 5 it is 3 and 19 it is 1936 so let us find out the square root of 1936 here make pairs how many times it will go four times Four four zero sixteen. Subtract it. You will get three. Bring second pair. That is thirty six. Now four plus four. It is eight. How many times it will go? Four times. Four four zero sixteen. One carry. Four eight zero thirty two plus one. Thirty three. Subtract it. You will get zero. Therefore, the square root of nineteen hundred thirty-six equal to forty-four. Therefore, your answer is this number. It is fifty-three, and the square root of perfect square. It is. Forty-four. Now come to third part. It is thirty-two hundred fifty. Find out the square root by long division method. Make pairs. Here, how many times it will go? Five times. Five five j twenty five. Subtract it. Twelve minus five it is seven. Bring second pair. It is fifty. Now five plus five ten. How many times it will go? Seven times. Multiply seven seven zero forty nine. Four carry seven zero zero plus four. Four seven one zero seven. Subtract it. Here your remainder is one. Here what we find that fifty seven square is less than. Thirty-two hundred fifty. Therefore, least number to be added equal to one. That is the remainder. Therefore, required number. Equal to thirty-two thousand thirty-two hundred fifty minus one. That is thirty-two hundred forty-nine. Now find out square root of this number three two four nine. Make pairs. How many times it will go? Five times. Five five zero twenty five. Twelve minus five seven. Bring second pair. That is forty nine. 
your number becomes 749 5 plus 5 it is 10 now how many times it will go 7 times So seven seven zero forty nine four carry seven zero zero plus four four seven one zero seven. Subtract it. You will get zero. Therefore, square root of three two four nine. It is fifty seven. So your answer is. One and fifty-seven. Now come to fourth part. It is eight hundred twenty-five. Find out square root of this number by long division method. Here make pairs. How many times it will go? Two times two to the four subtract it eight minus four it is four bring second pair it is twenty five your number becomes four hundred twenty five now two plus two it is four now how many times it will go eight times. Eight eight zero sixty four six carry eight four zero thirty two plus six thirty eight subtract it five minus four it is one twelve minus eight it is four what we conclude. That twenty-eight is square is less than eight hundred twenty-five. Therefore, this number to be subtracted. Equal to forty one. That is the remainder. The required number equal to eight hundred twenty five minus forty one equal to five minus one. It is four. Twelve minus four. It is eight. And seven. It is seven hundred eighty-four. Let us find out square root of seven hundred eighty-four. Make pairs. How many times it will go? Two times. Two to the four. Subtract it. You will get seven minus four, three. Bring second pair. That is eighty-four. Now two plus two, four. How many times it will go? Eight times. What will you get? Three hundred eighty-four. Subtract it. You will get zero. Therefore, square root of seven hundred eighty-four equal to twenty-eight. Therefore, your answer is forty-one and twenty-eight. Now come to fifth part. It is four thousand. 
find out the square root of this number by long division method make pairs how many times it will go six times that is 6 6 is 36 subtract it here yeah, 10 minus 6 it is 4 bring second pair it is 0 0 number becomes 400 6 plus 6, 12. Now, how many times it will go? Three times. Three, three, ja nine. Three, two, ja six. Three, one, ja three. Yes, subtract it. Ja ten minus nine. It is one. Nine minus six. That is three. Your remainder is thirty-one. So, what we conclude that sixty-three square is less than four thousand. Therefore, this number. to be subtracted equal to 31 therefore required number equal to 4000 minus 31 Equal to the ten minus one. It is nine. Nine minus three. It is six. Here it is nine. Here it is three. It is three thousand nine hundred sixty-nine. Let us find out the square root of this number. Three nine. Three nine six nine. Here make pairs. Yes. How many times it will go? Six times. Six six zero. Thirty six. Subtract it. It will be three. Bring second pair. It is nine. Sixty nine. Nine. The number becomes three hundred sixty nine. Six plus six. Twelve. How many times it will go? Three times. Three three is nine. Three two is six. Three one is three. Subtract it. You will get zero. Therefore, square root of three nine six nine. It is sixty three. Therefore, your answer is. Thirty-one and sixty-three. Now come to next question.